Hey guys, what's up? Tony from the Outsider Channel here with you once again today. And today we are riding Whiting Ranch in Lake Forest, California. And this video does start with a little bit of a disclaimer. Um, this is the first time I've delved into kind of like the wildlife surroundings. One of the reasons here I'm pointing this out specifically is because you'll see in the beginning of this video, I do have a quick clip from a woman named Ann Hajal talking about her mountain lion attack actually at Whiting Ranch. And I'm adding it to the video because it's just for me, I like to give a reminder to myself and maybe this is helpful for you guys. We're in their territories. It's good to know this stuff, just to have in the back of your head to make you more aware and not take your surroundings for granted. The more I can take with me on a ride, if anything does happen or did happen, I can pull on some tools that I have in the background built in and know what to do. One thing for certain I know is if you see a mountain lion, don't run away, don't act timid, raise your hands up high, yell, don't wanna run away, you're gonna act like it's a natural prey. So the mountain lion attacks are so rare, you're more likely to get struck by lightning or drown in your bathtub. All right, enough about that. Moving on, today's ride is awesome. It's about an hour loop, great go-to SoCal ride. I've done it a gazillion times, and it's great for all levels. A well-balanced ride with some big climbs and some big descents. Without further ado, I give you Wedding Ranch. All right, guys, we have arrived at the trailhead. I park next to the Ralph's parking lot. I pay in a paid location because it goes to OC Parks. It's a $3 parking fee, and it's cool because the trailhead is right next to the parking lot. That's the entrance to the trail right there. Mountain lion country. It's interesting that mountain lion sign every time I see it uh, in here because I'm reminded that there was an actual mountain lion hanging out down here at the trailhead a couple years back. Well, Sunday morning, we were coming out for our usual hike. It's kind of unusual to see a coyote in the first place. It's rare to see a mountain lion. It's just extraordinary to see the two of them interacting like this. Yeah, it's just, it's just amazing. January 8th, 2004, my friend Debbie and I decided to go for a mountain bike ride after work. Met at a local park called Whiting Ranch Wilderness Park. We climbed up a fire road called Mustard Road. It's kind of the hard work of the route we had chosen. And then you get to the top to an area called Four Corners where people tend to kind of catch their breath. Debbie and I took off down Cactus and suddenly I felt something grab a hold of me. It felt like I just got hit by a bus. I couldn't believe how hard I hit the ground. I realized then that the animal actually had a hold of me. The claws were dug into my shoulders and its fangs were dug into the back of my neck and I realized there's only one animal out there that could do something like this and that's a mountain lion. It felt like a hot knife through butter. It took no effort at all, but I did realize the damage he had just done. He had just ripped my face off. Mountain bikers had heard her screaming during the attack and they had ridden down the trail to find out what was going on. The guys started picking up softball-sized rocks and throwing them toward the lion. And at that point, he released his grip and let me go. But all I know is everything worked together for me to still be here. By the way, don't let that video scare you off. I've been in here so many times. The closest I've seen to a mountain lion is a cute little bobcat running across the trail on the descent. If you're about to write in the comments like, screw that, I'm not going there. They're everywhere. Mountain lions exist. It's all part of having to accept what we do here on the trails. Wildlife become our neighbors. Anyway, those are the kind of videos that your mind plays tricks on you with. You feel like you hear something behind you. It's always a squirrel. Squirrel! or a rabbit. Anyway, you can go down that rabbit hole if you want, but it's not healthy. Pull it back. Enjoy your surroundings. You're just a visitor in it. This is their home. The initial climb right now out of the trailhead is super mellow. Get some tree cover. It's super nice until you get to mustard. If you talk to anybody that's ridden whiting, one of the first reactions I'd say eight out of 10 would be, ugh, mustard sucks. And that's true. Mustard is a pretty rough climb. It starts off gradual and then it slowly grades steeper as you go up. So it's kind of a torture fest. Crossroad to the right is the start of mustard, but this left-hand turn is another short climb and a cool warm-up descent. And it loops right back into the beginning of mustard. Then you just make your first right. Taking around cattle pond. And then you got a short, sweet descent right here. 
before that brutal ass climb we were about to do. Mentally prepare, here it comes. So this is Four Corners, everybody's stopping point when they get to the top of Mustard and just a really good epicenter of uh, Whiting Ranch. Got a lot of options here. Really good break point. You got a water fountain and uh, no e-bike sign for some reason. That's a thing here in SoCal sometimes. If you want to go left up here, this is how you turn this into the double loop to the luge. But today we're going to be heading down yonder and banking on left. Bank a left into here. Coming in way too hot. I used to have this thing so memorized. Couple sharper turns down here. And we've got some options. Coming off cactus, you can go right, shorten this loop up even shorter, but this loop's already freaking short. So we're headed up to Santiago Ranch because we're building up to the biggest descent here in Whiting. Banging right up our last punchy climb, I promise, up Vulture View. Now we've got a short traverse over to our uh, drop-in point. There we go. And let's have some fun. Forgot about these switchbacks that they added. These are pretty new, relatively. You got some doubles in here now. Watch out for that left hand turn. Straight ahead's a cliff. This one always threw me off because you're coming down so fast. It really slows you down into a bank turn when you want to go straight. And like I said, the climbing days are done.
Oh dear! Squirrel! Hopefully you guys caught that. We're gonna bang it right here, but if you go straight ahead, you can hit the Wahoos parking lot where a lot of people also like to park, grab lunch and a beer, and then head back onto the trail. At any skate park or late forest, one of the biggest skate parks here in Southern California is right to the left there under that bridge. And we're popping out here, back onto the main road, straight down the road to the Ralph's parking lot where the trailhead is. There's a friggin' Arby's if you want a sloppy roast beef sandwich, extra sloppy. And just like that, the ride is complete. Guys, look, trailhead here, parking here, $3 there. It doesn't get easier than that. I'm Tony from the Outsider Channel. Thanks for letting me bring your map to life. As always, like if you like, like, subscribe, stick around. New videos every week. And on that, I'll see you guys next week.